Hi, so today I wanted to make a quick video showing you how to, to specify routes using React Router DOM um, and specify these routes in JSON. So this is a new feature um, in React Router DOM version 6. So I've set up a little application here. Let me show you. Perfect. So this application has a home page, an about page, and all these pages are the title, and then two pages for profiles. One is your own profile, so it's my profile and grabs a random name um, and last name, and then a friend's profile. And if you look up here in the URL, you can see that this has nested routes. So if home route is uh, the home path, about is about path, and then profile is just slash profile. Well, if you go to friends, it's profile slash profile slash friend. Um, and then you can also use params, um, parameters here. Uh, but I won't go into that today. I'm just doing a very simple overview. And then I'm going to leave the documentation in the description. And you can sift through there and see all the options that you have. So to start off, let me walk through what I've done here. So I've created a few components. These are obviously components you wouldn't normally have in your app.js file. But I didn't want to complicate it and make a whole file structure here. So I have header. And all this is the link list. Um, you use the link here in React Router DOM to uh, to link to other pages. This is something that, again, you'll see in um, the documentation. I don't want to go into very much depth. This is just an overview of the JSON feature um, creating routes. So the only thing you really need to know here about, about these React components is that we're using this hook right here which is called use loader data and I'll show you where you get that data from or how you send that data through here in a minute but basically over down here and you can um, send data through from the JSON uh, from a function and to get that data you're going to use use loader data we'll come back to that really briefly um, but I'm using that for the friends profile and the and your own profile perfect so these components all have to be either imported or defined prior to using them in the router here. Perfect. So the things you're going to have to import for your the router file, again, you're not going to usually use link or use loader data in the app.js file or your router file. Those are usually going to be used in components. Router provider and create browser router are the two things you need to import from React Router DOM. Don't forget to npm install this or yarn add if that's what you prefer to use. So make sure you import those. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a router. So you do const router, and then you set it equal to this hook, create browser router, and pass through an array of objects here. And so let's take a look at these objects and what your options are for specifying different routes. So the very basic route that you can specify is, is a path. So whether it be about here or just a slash or whatever other route you want to do and then pass through an element. Now you can actually pass, oh, I'll go into um, layering elements here in a bit, but this is uh, this simply will pass through this element. So this element is the about, so it'll render that. So if I go to about, it's just rendering the about page here. Perfect. Now when you come back up here, uh, a little you can see the uh, profile routes that I've created. So I set the path profile, and then under this path, anything that is going to be prepended by, or you know, going to use this this route, whether it be the home route here, which is, again, you have to specify if you want it to be just slash profile and also have other routes under the profile route, you're gonna have to spe specify the entire path um, both in the parent path here, in the parent object, and then under children. So children is again another array of objects. Um, this You can have children nested in children, uh, but here I only have one layer nested. So within children, you slash profile, if you want it to be, this is not going to come through as slash profile slash profile. If you wanted the route to be slash profile slash profile, you'd have to add another one, but that's, you, you'd have to add slash profile here again unlikely you're going to want to do that. So this entire route, to get this element here, this my profile element, is going to be 
um, whatever your base route is. So mine's localhost 3000 3, slash profile, and that's it. And then you can have another, so for example, if you come down here, you can see the friend path is slash profile slash friend, um, which you can see is only slash profile slash friend here. Perfect, so let's talk about loaders really briefly. So here in the loader, this is basically, you can use this to fetch data and send it through to the element prior to loading, or once it's loaded. So I just set an async function here and grabbed a random user from this API, um, parsed the data, and returned the first result um, which happens to have first name, last name in there, and I. Um, so both of these results here, both go into my profile and my friend's profile, each have uh, first name, last name within this user object. So let's look at my profile here. Uh, I can grab that data that I returned from that loader function by setting it equal to use loader data, that entire hook. It's that simple to grab the data, and then I can feed it through straight into the component here pretty simple um, so using parameters uh, again this will be covered more deeply in the documentation I'm actually not going to go into an example here um, but basically if you want to use a parameter you would say you would use a colon and then ID all right whatever I'll do an example here uh, params and then let's say uh, results Let's do data. Uh, let's let's do con return object is equal to that data result zero. Perfect. We're gonna do we're gonna add the ID there. Um, so you take the params object. So you do props dot param, or you can feed the params, or you can um, you can take the params from brackets here and get your parameters straight into this loader object. Um, so now you'll see this data result zero will have a uh, ID parameter and I'm just gonna go ahead and show that. I think this is on my friend's profile. Perfect. So if I go to my friend's profile, I can, uh, let's see, data, whoops, data dot ID. Perfect. So now I'm going to come to the friend's profile. I'm going to, it's no longer slash profile slash friend, and now it's slash profile slash ID. So let's give it an ID of 28. And you're going to see 28 come through right here, right above the name, right where we put it. Um, so that's how you use parameters. Uh, but again, I didn't go into very much depth there. That will be covered in the documentation that I will leave a link to in the description below. I can go into more depth on this if you would like, um, if anyone, if it would help anybody. Um, I can go through the whole documentation and basically just explain how the different features work. So I hope this video helped somebody.